Here are some easy tips that you can use to grow your hair longer and stronger today. Hey everyone, my name is Becca and on my channel I make beauty and lifestyle videos. If you're new here, welcome. If you're coming back, thank you so much. It's good to see you again. When I worked at the salon, I feel like one of the number one questions people would ask me is how do I grow my hair really, really long and really, really strong? And honestly, the answer is not that complicated. And this is not clickbait. I'm not trying to fool you. I'm not trying to get you to buy some random thing. I'm just gonna tell you some really practical ways that you can grow your hair longer and stronger. Whether you are someone that is on their postpartum hair loss journey, you might be recovering from chemotherapy, or you're just looking for a new long style, these tips are for you. If you are looking for some sort of raw egg, aloe vera, chanting to the moon, instant hack, this video is not for you. And before we get to the tips, I do wanna acknowledge that we are all different. All of us have different genetics and it affects the way that our hair grows. Even though we all might be starting from a different place, these tips can still apply to you. All right, so let's jump into it. That's what you're here for, right? <laughs> First, I want to acknowledge the mental foundation for this process. I feel like this is the hardest part, the mental game that it takes to grow your hair out. If you've ever tried to grow out your bangs, if you've ever tried to grow out color, if you've ever decided you wanted to go gray and had to wait for your color to grow out, you know that the number one thing that you need is patience. Okay, before you click off this video, please just wait. There are definitely other tips that I'm gonna share, but I just wanna set up the foundation for the mental journey that is growing out your hair. Patience, okay, kinda lame, but the average hair growth is only six inches a year. That's half an inch a month. And that just is gonna take time. And so really, if you want to grow your hair out long and strong, you're just gonna need to be patient and accept the fact that it is gonna take a little while. There is nothing that is gonna make your hair shoot out of your head like a Chia Pet. Although I wish there was, <laughs> unfortunately, there is not. The other part of the mental foundation for growing your hair out is you need to take care of that hair as it's growing out. My recommendation is for you to get your hair cut every 12 to 15 weeks, which is about three or four times a year. You might be thinking, why would I cut my hair if I'm trying to grow it out? It is really, really important to make sure that you are cutting off any split ends. Once your hair is split, there is no way of coming back. I don't care who is selling you what thing that says I can repair your split ends, they cannot. That is a lie, that is marketing. Once it's split, it's split. It's not coming back. But you can prevent split ends by getting regular trims and using high quality products. I would recommend that you just stop right now and call your hairstylist and set up your next three appointments because it'll keep you on a nice little schedule to keep your hair well-maintained, cut off those split ends as you're growing your hair out. Now, how much you need to cut off every time you go is about a half an inch to an inch. You just wanna make sure it cleans up those nice edges and make sure that those split ends get out of there before it can actually continue to split up the shaft, which will make it break off, which will make it not strong and long. The point of this video. <laughs> Tell your stylist that you wanna grow your hair out, they'll know what to do. All right, we have the foundation set. You need your patience and you need to take care of that hair as it's growing out. Let's get into some practical tips. Number one, if you haven't heard it a thousand times, you haven't been watching my channel enough, using good shampoo and conditioner. As always, using a high quality shampoo and conditioner is gonna keep your hair healthy and shiny. It's gonna help keep its elasticity as it's growing out. It's gonna give it strength. And that's really the foundation for any product that you're gonna be using when you're trying to grow your hair out. High quality shampoo and conditioner. Shampoo and conditioner will also be probably the product that you use the most in your hair growth journey. So you wanna make sure that you're using a quality product. It's also gonna help you avoid split ends. Remember how I said before, once it's split, it's not coming back. You gotta cut it off in order to get rid of it. 
Well, using high quality shampoo is going to help keep it stronger so that you don't get those split ends. I want to share some of my favorite shampoos and conditioners for hair growth, and I'm going to read it off my list because the names are long. And I don't want to forget what they are. Number one is going to be the Alterna Caviar Anti-Aging Multiplying Volume Shampoo and Conditioner. You can actually get this at Ulta and Sephora. Number two, Purology Strength Cure Shampoo and Conditioner. I've talked about this one on my channel before. I really like this shampoo and conditioner. And the third one I'm gonna recommend is the Bain Extensioniste and Fondant Extensioniste from Kerastase. This shampoo is also for strengthening and specific for people who are trying to grow their hair out long. The second practical tip is adding a heat protectant. You haven't been watching me long enough if you haven't heard me talk about a heat protectant. <laughs> adding a heat protectant, especially if you're someone who blow dries regularly and uses any sort of hot tool, and I'm talking curling iron, flat iron, anything that adds heat to your hair, you need to add a heat protectant. Or again, your hair is going to get brittle, it's going to break off, it's not gonna be able to grow long and strong. Use a product that gives you up to 450 degrees of heat protection. Heat damage will cause hair dehydration, cuticle damage, and protein breakdown. All things you don't want when you're trying to grow your hair out. And how would you know if you had any of those things? Your hair is gonna be frizzy, it's gonna be dull, you're gonna see a lot of split ends, and it's just gonna break off. What that heat protection is gonna do is gonna create a barrier on your hair that actually will help distribute the heat evenly so it's not focused right on one certain spot. So when you have that heat focused on that one certain spot, it's gonna create a weak point in the hair which is gonna cause it to break off. So you need that heat protection on your hair to help distribute that heat evenly. Most of the heat protectants that I recommend have extra nutrients in them that's gonna help protect the hair's hydration, it's gonna help protect its elasticity, and give it some extra keratin strength. Some of my favorite heat protectants are Hairdresser's Invisible Oil, Primer. I've talked about this one before. I really like it. Purology, Color Fanatic 21 Benefits. You don't have to have color treated hair, but it's specifically marketed towards people with color treated hair. And Kerastase Thermique Blow Dry Creams. These things are fantastic. They have like five of them <laughs> that are all for different kinds of hair. And they actually just came out with one that goes with the shampoo and conditioner I recommended, which is the Extensioniste Thermique blow dry cream. I'll make sure to link all of these. Don't worry. And if you're looking for a product that you want to put on your dry hair, maybe the second or third day, if you want to go touch up your curls with a curling iron, I really like hair oils. You're just going to take this hair oil, do one or two pumps in your hand and rub it through your mid lengths and ends. And then you can use your hot tool. Some of my favorites are the Olaplex number no. seven hairdressers, invisible oil, oil, <laughs> And Kerastase Elixir Oil, hair oils are a little bit more expensive. However, they will last you a very long time. Number three, this is specifically for people with blonde hair. So if you don't have blonde hair, you don't have any balayage, nothing, you are natural hair or you're colored hair, you can skip to number four. But if you are blonde, stick with me because this step is really, really important for you. And this tip is adding Olaplex number one and number two to your highlighting service. Olaplex number one is an additive that your hairstylist will add into your formulation when she goes to mix up your bleach and it's gonna help maintain the strength of your bonds as your hair is lifting. When you lift hair to make it blonde, when you're removing its natural color, it's it gets, it gets scary. <laughs> and so Olaplex number one is incredible. Like literally changed my life when I was a hairstylist. Not all stylists will have Olaplex on hand. I recommend calling ahead saying, hey, do you guys use Olaplex? If not, is there a way that you can get it so you can add it to my next highlighting service? So yes, that means this is an add on service. Depending on what salon you go to, it could be anywhere from 20 to $50 extra, but I promise you it is so worth it. And it is extremely important if you're someone that is going from dark to really, really blonde hair. Usually when you're going from really dark to really light, you actually have to do multiple highlighting sessions. And so you're highlighting over highlighted hair. And when this was the case for me as a hairstylist, it was not an option for my clients. I added Olaplex One to all of their formulations. I told them I will not highlight over highlights without using this because it will damage your hair. And I'm just not in the business to damage people's hair. I don't want to do that to you, okay? So you gotta use this if you want me to take you from black 
to blunt. Olaplex number two is actually the second part of this Insulon service. So you add Olaplex one to your formulation and Olaplex two is after you rinse out your highlights, you put this product on your hair and it sits on for like 10 minutes and then you proceed to your next shampooing and conditioning and styling. A lot of stylists will know about Olaplex these days. It's very popular, it is widely used and it's just a really amazing product. There are other products out there that are like Olaplex that your stylist might use and I just recommend and asking them, do you use a bond builder or a bond protector in my formulation? If not, is there a way that we can add that in the future? And then if you are using Olaplex in your formulation at the salon, my best recommendation for you would be to follow it up and maintain it at home with the shampoo and conditioner from Olaplex number four and number five. Number four, welcome back. We're all back together. How fun. Isn't it lovely to be together? This one comes with a disclaimer, okay? I'm not a doctor. This is by no means medical advice. I am going to relay my experience to you using this next step. Please speak to your doctor before trying anything that I'm about to say. Biotin, I'm sure you've heard of it. In my experience, when I was really wanting to grow my hair out quicker, longer, stronger, I took biotin supplements. I did notice that my hair grew out faster. It is definitely not something that I noticed overnight, but in the long run, I felt like I did notice some difference in the speed that my hair grew out and the quality that my hair grew out. I do wanna say that it could have been a placebo effect. At the same time I was trying to grow my hair out and take biotin, I was also making sure to take care of my hair. So it could have been a combination of both, or just could have been that I was paying more attention to my hair so I noticed it more. Either way, I still wanted to add it in here because I'm pregnant. I'm doing like three weeks. And a lot of times biotin is added to prenatal vitamins because pregnant people need extra biotin and my hair and nails grow insanely fast when I'm taking prenatal vitamins. Coincidence? I don't know, I'll let you decide. <laughs> I did do a little research about biotin before I made this video and there is really no concrete evidence or research that proves that biotin will make your hair grow faster or stronger. However, the opposite, a deficiency in biotin can actually make your hair thinner and weaker and not grow as well. So I feel like that's how biotin got popular. If you're deficient in it and you go thin, if you take some more, when it grow better, I don't know. I still wanted to add it because I felt like in my experience, I noticed a difference. And that actually brings me to number five, which is beware of people trying to sell you things. It's gonna make your hair grow faster and longer, like in a week. That's just not possible. I have had a lot of experience working in salons. And even before that, I was in cosmetology school in high school for two years. I have seen a lot of different hacks and products and things that say that your hair will grow longer and stronger if you do these things. Unfortunately, there is not really an easy way to just grow your hair out. I don't wanna mention any brands or products that might be really popular right now for hair growth. I'm just going to caution you that hair growth takes time and there is no instant microwave solution. Even as I mentioned before, biotin. There's no concrete research or evidence that it actually makes your hair grow faster. One popular product for hair growth is minoxidil. You've probably heard of it. Minoxidil is specific for hair density and hair growth. And in the research that I have found, it only works on like 60 to 70% of people. And it actually takes a long time to notice a difference. And if you stop using it, it just all goes away. In the research that I have done and the experience that I have, there's just not one fast tracked way to grow your hair out. So if you want to use minoxidil, I would say talk to your doctor, see what they think, see if it's a right fit for you. And really this one just brings me back full circle to the beginning, which is you're just gonna need to be patient. <laughs> hair growth takes patience and time and effort. And I promise you will get there, use these hacks, it will benefit you in the long run. <laughs> see what I did there? <laughs> I just came up with that. <laughs> My husband's impressed. <laughs> what are some other hair hacks that you've heard that supposedly grow your hair longer and stronger? Let us all know in the comments. If you like this video, make sure to leave a like. If you haven't yet, please consider subscribing, hitting the bell for notifications for every time I post this wonderful content. <laughs> you know you wanna hang out with me. <laughs> 
Thanks so much for watching. If you're looking for another video to watch, you could watch this one or you could watch this one. Or if you haven't been convinced to subscribe yet, there's probably a button somewhere in this general area. It's really easy for you to subscribe. Um, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.